Good morning, church family. I hope you're doing well. I hope you've determined in your heart that you're going to have a great day. Purpose in your heart like Daniel did. We're going to be everything God wants us to be today. I hope that you'll strive to do that. I want you to take your Bibles if you have them with you. And listen, maybe if you don't have them and turn to the book of Haggai. And where the Bible tells us in verse number three, I'm just going to read a quick part of the passage here and then uh, share with you just a few thoughts from this, this story here. Who is left among you that saw this house in her first glory? And how do you see this now? It is not your eyes in comparison of it as, a no as nothing. Yet now be strong, O Zerubbabel, saith the Lord, and be strong, O Joshua, son of Josedek, the high priest, and be strong, all ye people of the land, saith the Lord, and work, for I am with you, saith the Lord of hosts. Skip down to verse number six, and he tells us this. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, yet once it is a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land. He says there in the middle of this verse, if you remember, I've preached through this passage here not too long ago in our church, but you'll remember that a remnant has returned to Jerusalem to rebuild the temple. And uh, they are being discouraged by those that are around them, by the enemies of God, by the condition uh, of things that are taking place around them. And, and they're discouraged. And the preacher shows up, Haggai here, and he says, listen, I want to remind you of something. It's just going to be for a little while. And we think about the world we're living in, the circumstances that we're dealing with. And I want you to know, and I want to encourage you this morning, that when you consider what's going on, the Lord reminds us, hey, in comparison to eternity, this is just a little while. It'll be just a little while. I think practically speaking, in just a little while, we'll see some of the greatest things that God has ever done born out of this adversity. We'll see some of the greatest uh, souls, one to Christ, that are going to do some of the greatest things for God that come from these moments that we're dealing with right now. And God reminds us, listen, stay faithful for it's just a little while. If you're discouraged this morning, you're down, I want to remind you, listen, it's just a little while and God's going to do some of his greatest work. He reminds the people here that his ability to do that work in just a little while depends on, first of all, his protection. God is protecting us in this moment. If you look in uh, verse number four again, he says on three different occasions, be strong. He says, be strong to the leader there, to Zerubbabel. He says, be strong to the preacher, be strong. And he says to all the people, be strong. The Bible tells us that we're to be strong in the Lord. When we are where God wants us to be, no matter what is going on around us, we, are, we will experience God's protection. I want to encourage you, church, be strong. Now is not the time to lay down the sword. Now is not the time to step back from what God has given you. Now is not the time to become a, a Christian, if you will, that just rides off into the sunset. No, be strong in the Lord in this moment. And then he tells us not only because of the protection of God, but look what he tells us also in verse number six. He says, for thus saith the Lord of hosts, yet once it is a little while and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land. Verse number seven, I will shake all nations and the desire of all nations shall come and I will fill this house with glory, saith the Lord of hosts. Not only are we sustained, as not only does God, God's greatest work accomplished because of his protection, but also because of his power. Not only is God protecting us, but I want you to understand something. No matter what you're dealing with or what you're facing, it is not greater than the God that you serve. It is not greater than the God who has redeemed you. What you're going through or what you're dealing with, God has the power to overcome. He said, all power is given unto me. Jesus said, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Aren't you thankful that we serve a God that can shake the nations, that can shake the heavens, that oftentimes has to shake and stir our life to remind us of his power? He says not only his protection and not only his power, but look with me if you would please in verse number nine. He says, the glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former, saith the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace, saith the Lord of hosts. Two things there. He reminds the nation of Israel, or he reminds the remnant there. He said, he asked him in the beginning, who's left among you that saw what this house, what this temple used to be? And who, who of you that saw what it used to be, look at it now and get discouraged. And my, how can we do that? We, we get to the place where we, we look at something and we think, that's just never going to be what it used to be. I don't know that we'll ever get back to normal. And we look at what used to be and we compare what we're dealing with now and we think, it's never going to be like that again. Listen to me. God says, and he reminds us of his promises in verse number nine, the glory of this latter house shall be greater than the former. 
He says, listen, what I'm going to do in this moment will be greater than what I've ever done before. I want to be the Christian who's ready to serve the Lord and be used of God in this moment, not the one that always looks back at what used to be. I want to look for what God is doing in this moment. He says, I want to remind you that I'm going to make this house greater than the latter. I'm going to make this circumstance. I'm going to make this blessing. I'm going to make this opportunity greater than the previous one. But then he also says, he uses these words in this place. He says, right where we are, Listen to me, we don't have to run and find somewhere else to serve God. We don't have to look for a different opportunity. But in the place God has given you, he says, I want you to trust my promises. God said to us about his word. He said, the promises of the Lord are sure. We don't have to doubt what God is going to do. Our faith rests in him. We don't have to be afraid. We don't need to fear because our faith is in Jesus Christ. Church, I just want to encourage you this morning. It's just a little while and all this will be passed. And where will we be with the Lord? I want to be right where God is intending for me to be. I want to be right where God has placed me, trusting in his protection, believing his power, and finding joy in his promises. I hope you have a great day. I hope God blesses you. I hope you encourage someone around you. Let's let our light keep shining bright for the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you.